Welcome into the warm-up show sponsored by U.S. Plastics. I'm Patrick Kamler. Mark Koontz will be along here very shortly as we take a look at Spencerville Bearcat football for the 2014 season. Along with me right now, head coach John Zerby. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Patrick. Appreciate it. So coming off of last season, you guys got off to a great start. You stumbled heading into the stretch. What did you take away from the beginning and the end of last season, and what have you put toward this season? I think we took away that we played a lot of really good teams. Um, you know, our, our league has really improved over the last few years, and uh, there was a stretch in there where you know, I think we played Crestview, Bluffton, and, and Lima Central Catholic right in a row. And, um, you know, we, we lost five games last year, and uh, four of those games were to playoff teams. So, you know, uh, when, when you're playing good competition, you just have to realize that, you know, we, every night you're going to have to bring your best game to be competitive. So that's just the big thing we focus on is trying to be consistent every night that we play. What are some of the things that your kids have improved on so far heading into week one? Yeah. I, I think, number one, we had a great off season. You know, we spent a lot of time in the weight room. It's one of our foundations of our program is in the weight room. Um, we had a great summer. Kids really committed, showed up. Um, we got a lot of spots to fill, but we also have a lot of starters back. And um, it just seems like we're starting to gel right now. I, you know, so coaches really can't tell why that is, but it just seems like it, it's starting to come together. And that's what makes it kind of exciting right now that we're starting to, to work things out. We're starting to understand things. Um, and we're starting to finally play like uh, we think that we can play. You know, talk about the team gelling. I know a, a lot of other coaches and a lot of other programs like to get out into the community and help out and just do things around the community. What do activities like that, how does that help the team gel? How does that help build unity and camaraderie that you need on a football team? Well, I just think, look at our community of Spencerville. We're a small town. You know, we care for one another. We love one another. Um, you know, everyone's built around the family, built around the church, built around the school. And, you know, for us, that's how we look at our football team. I mean, we're, we're a family. And, uh, you know, our kids love one another. It uh, doesn't mean that we always get along. Um, but we're allowed to pick on our brothers. That's okay. Uh, just when somebody else does it, then we stick up for them. That's just kind of our mentality. And, and more than just um, caring for one another, you know, we look out for each other. But at the same time, we discipline one another. We hold each other accountable. I think that's the way it should be. Taking a look at the, the football season, the team that's actually going to be put together, you lost Anthony Chu, so the, the running game is diminished. But you've always had kind of a, a two- to three-headed monster at running back. The Spencerville attack over the last couple of years that we've seen with you, is that going to change at all? Is that going to be modified at all this year? I uh, know. <laughs> um, we're going to run the ball. We've been blessed. Uh, we've had some tremendous running backs, Austin Lotz, Nico Molina, John Smith, Colton yeah. Miller, Anthony Shue. I mean, Hunter Hardesty. We've just had 1,000-yard rusher after 1,000-yard rusher. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that are kind of vying for those spots right now. We think Zach Goki is going to be one of those guys, Logan Vandemark, uh, Trevor McMichael, Danny Galavera, uh, Andrew Emery. Uh, Keaton Lotz and Calvin Wilson are all kind of vying for time right now. So got a lot of names. We're going to share a lot of carries. Um, so we're excited about seeing where they're going to end up. So you don't expect a lot of run and shoot, fun and gun type stuff <laughs> you know, from you guys this you know, year? You know, probably not run and shoot, but, um, you know, our, our quarterback is, is returning, Mason Nurse. Uh, he's a junior. He's just improved, done everything correct, uh, you know, shows up early, stays late. Um, has done everything in the offseason that we've asked him to do. We're looking for him to have a real good year. We also have a sophomore, Dakota Pritchard, who's a real nice quarterback as well. Uh, you know, he could, he could do, uh, can play uh, as well as anybody out there. So, you know, we've got a couple options at quarterback, but we're all excited. You know, we'd like to throw the ball a little bit, keep things, uh, keep defenses balanced, but running's going to be our game. Defensively, how are you guys going to look this year? Uh, we're excited about our defense. Um, you know, we got some guys back at linebacker, Zach Goki and Evan Pugh at inside linebacker. Real excited about them. Uh, returning outside linebackers, Hunter French and Grant Goki and Mason Nurse will also be filling in there as well. A lot of defensive backs back. Uh, we got some new guys up front, but, uh, but returning Logan Vandemark, who is an all-district uh, tackle. So defensively, I think we're better. Uh, we're a little bit more athletic. We're faster. And, you know, we've had to evolve defensively. You know, I'd like to line up in a certain defense, but... Unfortunately, we can dictate what we want to do offensively. We can't defensively. We got to we got to evolve around what the offense is doing. So we've had to change a little bit schematically. You guys finished just under 500 in the NWC last year, three and four. Uh, how do you feel you guys match up against? Well, you say it was the cream of the crop of the teams in the NWC. How do you feel you guys match up against those teams? Well, you know, you first you look at our league, and I think you look at Crestview, you look at Ada, and you look at Jefferson. They they won the league last year. 
Those are the teams that are the returning champs, so you got to look at them. And I think everybody else has improved. I mean, I think Bluffton's better. I think Alan East is better. I know Grove is better. And I think Paulding's better. You know, we better be improved. You know, we better be improved. And, um, you know, those other teams are working hard. I think it's just going to be a slugfest. I think this could be one of the most difficult seasons um, in recent time in the Northwest Conference. Is there going to be anything specifically you're looking for from your team as far as either just improvement, tweaks, last minute, things like that as you head into week one against Lipsick? Um, we, we just, we need more reps. We need more time. We need to kind of keep evaluating um, personnel. Right now we have a rotation of guys going in and out. Um, you know, that won't happen as much once games get going. We'll, we'll go with one guy and, and play him in a spot. So we're still kind of evaluating who's going to fit where. Um, that's a good problem to have. You know, you don't want kids showing up thinking they've already won the job. You want competition. And uh, I think we've been able to rotate enough kids in there where no one feels safe about their job right now. All right, well, hey, Coach, you guys, you guys turn out in force here tonight. We've got we're, a ton of Spencerville players. We just got out of practice, so we're hungry. We're going to eat a lot of wings, which means we're going to have a bad practice tomorrow. <laughs> so. Well, Buffalo Wild Wings is happy to hear that. The wings, not the bad practice part. <laughs> Head Coach John Zerby, thanks for All joining right, thanks, us. Thanks, Patrick. Appreciate it. When we come back on the warm-up show, Mark Koontz will be along with some more Spencerville Bearcat players right here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by U.S. Plastic Stores. We continue to talk the Spencerville Bearcat football season here at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Mark Hoots, joined now by Trevor McMichael, Grant Goki, and Logan Vandermark down on the end. And Logan, we'll start with you. Fullback, defensive end, you lose two really good running backs in Colton Miller and Anthony Shue from last year's team. What did you learn from those two guys that are, are going to help you get this year? I uh, learned last year that you need, to have, you need to have a lot of speed, a lot of force, and you got to get in there with your head down and shoulders down, and you got to run hard so you can get your yards and get first downs. Grant, you're almost there, a little over a week away from the first regular season game. What do you guys need to work on the most between now and week one, taking on Lipsick? Uh, the little things, just polish up all the loose ends, um, work on being more physical, and doing everything to perfection. Trevor, how's camp gone so far? Camp's been great. Everyone's getting better each week. We have returning guys, and we have the new guys getting the hang of it. It's going to be a great season all around. Are you at the point now where you're ready for the season to really start? Um, I'm not sure we're there yet, but we have one more scrimmage with USV left, and I think that will really help fine-tune us overall. Grant, speaking of that scrimmage with Upper Scioto Valley, what do you need to work on to, uh, this weekend when you take on the Rams in that last practice game? Uh, be physical. <laughs> Logan, you look back on last year, a 5-5 five and five season, which, you know, four or five years ago, you guys would have died for a 5-5 five and five season, but that shows you where, what Coach Zerby has done with this program, where 5-5 five and five isn't good enough anymore. Uh, that 5-5 five and five season last year, I felt like we could have done a lot better, and you're right, with the coaching staff, it's improved a lot over the years, and it's good to have the coaching that we have, and the improvements that have been made this year will hopefully show and hopefully bring us into playoffs. Logan, you also wrestle. How does wrestling help with football? How does football help with wrestling? It's kind of, it kind of goes back and forth with each other. You know, you got you to get low. You got to be physical. You got to have good stamina. You got you to have that drive in both of those sports. And it's just nice um, getting out there and being physical with everybody. Grant, what are some of the goals for this year's team? Uh, well, from game one, win every game. Trevor, you look at the rest of the NWC, a three-way tie for first place in the conference a season ago. Ada's got a, has a lot coming back. Crestview's got a lot coming back. Where do you see Spencerville in this Northwest Conference this year? I see us at the very top if all goes to plan. We can't control how the other teams play, but we can worry about ourselves and making ourselves better. And if we do everything we're capable of, I can see us near the top, if not the best. All right, we need to take a break here on the U.S. Plastic Store warm-up in that Ada Spencerville Week 2 matchup, one of the three Bearcats games on WOSN's broadcast schedule. Or actually, four games. Week 7 against Bluffton, Week 8 against Crestview, and the Week 10 matchup against Delphus Jefferson this year on a Saturday night. 
one of those games you'll be able to see on WOS. And we come back more from the Bearcats here from Buffalo Wild Wings on the U.S. Plastic Store warm up. Welcome back to the U.S. Plastic Store warm up from Buffalo Wild Wings as we're joined now by Eli Hawk and Daniel Gallivari. And Eli, you're on the line. We know how important the line is to Spencerville's offense. How's the line progressing so far this year? Eli. Yeah. Uh, I think our line is great. The coaches really work us every day. Uh, there's nothing. I'm a running back, so Eli, take it over. Yeah, Eli, how's the line looking? Uh, really good. We got uh, we got me and Cole coming back. We got some uh, strong center, strong tackle. Everyone's we got some good guys playing offensive line. Daniel, we know the running back position is kind of the position of glory, if you will, for Spencerville. Anthony Shu and Colton Miller did a great job last year. You got Logan Vandemark busting through some holes in front of you this year. Talk about the running back position and what it means for the Bearcats. Uh, really, that's where we make our money. Uh, Coaches strive to get a good running game going, and that's where we're going to start every game. Defensively, what can we expect from the Bearcats, Daniel? Uh, we're going to really uh, work on the pass defense. We're going to be really solid up front, like Eli, on the defensive line. I think we'll be great. Eli, you look at the schedule this year. Week 10 is always a good game against Delphus Jefferson. Moving that to a Saturday night, does that make it even more special? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are going to come out and watch that game. It's going to make it bigger. It's going to be more exciting. A couple of weeks before the opener at home against Lipstick, what do you think you need to work on the most? What do you feel the most confident about on this team right now, Eli? Um, we, need to, we need to just keep giving effort. Our effort's great. Um, our, we got to get off the ball quicker. We got to stay low and drive. Lipstick's got some big guys, and we just got to stay low and keep pushing. Daniel, what would you like to see out of this team this year? Uh, I think all of our seniors uh, really want to make it to the playoffs this year. Uh, that's our main goal. How difficult was it last year for both of you guys to not be in contention down the stretch after having solid seasons the last few years before? Um, every year is a new story. I think we did our best with what we had, and we, we gave it our best shot. Eli, what did you learn from last year's team? Um, just got to give it your all every play. Uh, got to beat the guy across from you, and that's all it takes. All right, so we're at Buffalo Wild Wings. we got to ask, what's your favorite flavor of wings, Eli? Honey barbecue. Honey barbecue, good man. Daniel? Mild. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight on the warm-up presented by the U.S. Plastic Store. We want to thank all of our guests, John Zerbe and Patrick Kamler. Until next time, I'm Mark Hoots on WOSN. <laughs>